I'm really sorry that I have been neglecting you. And now I guess I'm just gonna have to do something to compensate. Tonight we're gonna focus on us. We can do anything you want. Anything. I'm not sure this is the most opportune time. No, 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 look, see, I'm, I'm gonna turn my phone off. There will be no interruptions, no phone calls, no work emergencies. And if Kate gets all huffy, then so be it. You know, I need, it's time I reprioritize my life. Nothing's more important to me than my sweet, sexy non-husband. I haven't been making the greatest choices recently, Spinelli, and I promise you that I'm gonna fix that. You mean everything to me. I love you. Is that all, all you want to tell me? That's my promise to you. Hey, I have an idea. Um, why don't I put our song on the jukebox and we could dance? Maybe you could sing to me again? We could get rid of that, get a couple orange sodas? What do you think? Um, I'm, I'm afraid I have to decline. I, um, I have some pressing business matters to attend to. You have to go right now? I mean, I wanted to make everything up to you. I promise you won't be sorry. I guess it'll have to wait. Okay. Call me later. Okay. Precisely why the jackal is here. Who is he? Who? This jackal. Oh, he's I. Me. You too? No, he's me, not I. You. Me? You what? Uh, perhaps we should begin again. From the top. Allow me to introduce myself. I've never seen a throat slit, Spinelli. Neither have I. What do you think it's like? I can only imagine. Graphically? Now there comes a time in an artist's life when he needs to experience the world firsthand. Wouldn't you agree? Well, I would say that would depend entirely upon the experience. I'm glad you're here. Apparently. What we have here is a failure to communicate. I need to send a message. And you are. He made me wait. I don't wait. I waited for him. Well, Stone Cold can be vexing in that regard. I wanted him to like me. He had his chance. Well, you know, words are not Stone Cold's friends. Um, I would suggest not taking the presumed slight personally. I take everything personally. You know, I can see this this is a most inopportune time. So. You're here to talk about your girlfriend. Relax. I wanted Maxie for the same reason I want you. I want you to deliver a message to your roommate. Tell what do you call him? Stone Cold? Not for long. Tell Stone Cold. The next time, he'll show a little respect. Next time? Come back 
soon you have. Still don't know what kind of proof Franco has on Michael. Pictures, probably video. He's probably got some kind of backup plan in place in case he dies. But you know what saves this? He's using Michael as a means to an end. It's all about provoking me. What happened? Um, the jackal has been forcibly instructed to relay a message to Stone Cold from Franco. You, you went back over there? Spilly, what are you thinking? I told you to stay away. I was hoping to clarify certain things with Franco about Maxim. He could have killed you. Look, I don't, I don't know what Franco is, is capable of, but if he is who I think he is, nobody is safe. I, I'm, I'm truly sorry. Believe me, I deeply regret disobeying your orders. Benelli, I'm just, I'm just trying to protect you. This guy is sick. He's fixated on me, which puts everybody that I know at risk. What else did he say to you? Did he threaten you? No, he, I mean, he didn't physically threatened me, but, I mean, it, but it was certainly implied in his tone. He, he spoke at length about how he views Stone Cold as a fellow artist, but he seemed deeply uh, upset about you refusing to share your process. Okay. You said that he said something else about him, too, that he sent a message or something like that? Uh, yeah, Franco wanted me to convey to you that he will be waiting and that you should have treated him with more respect. You just need to ask Spinelli what's going on. Men don't usually play this whole kind of guess why I'm pissed game. That's, that's kind of a female specialty. I don't know. I, f I feel like Spinelli was waiting for me to say something. And then when I didn't, he just made up some excuse and took off. Hey, I'm glad you called. I could really use a drink. Hi, come on. Uh, another frustrated woman that's going around today. Well, what do you say you girls let Uncle Coleman make up something special, huh? On the house, too, as long as you promise to put in a good word with that sassy boss of yours. Okay? I still cannot believe that Kate is dating him. <laughs> so what's your deal? Oh, no, nothing. I mean, it's not that big. I'm just really annoyed with Dominic. I can't even tell you the reason why. Let's just say that I don't like being patronized and dismissed. I'm sorry. Does this mean you actually just admitted you and Dominic are dating? Never mind. I have another thing that I need you to focus on. Spinelli has been acting really mopey, and I don't know why. Mm. It might actually help if you admitted that you slept with Franco. Would you keep that down? Nobody else is supposed to know about that. Give that secret another week, Tops. Well, I made you promise you weren't going to say anything. Besides, I, I think that I have a plan that might help fix things, but I need your help. <clears throat> I need to go to Franco's studio and confiscate any photos that he might have taken of me and make him swear not to talk about, you know, what happened and maybe convince him to do the Crimson photo shoot. I'm sorry, wait, will you need me why? Well, Franco's studio is scary and I need backup. 